strong against him. But, uh... I think it was a much needed change because Protoss did struggle quite a bit with air. He's got a, a decent sized army here, four immortals, three sentries, some zealots there, and all I have is roaches and zerglings and only one spine crawler and he knows it and he is coming in, it's not looking good right now. My income is higher because I do have this expansion up and running somewhat well, but let's check out the units. He's got five zealots, four immortals, three sentries, and I just have 20 zerglings and six roaches. Oh, and two queens. And don't forget the nine larva. So those larva might uh, help out here. Not really. And so I'm trying to plant down some spine crawlers as soon as I can. My queen is just chilling in the front. Who knows why? He kind of makes a blunder and comes up and runs away and loses a zealot. I've got zerglings coming in from behind. He's he's not really committing to this push, which he should once he saw these spine crawlers. But I decide to go in. The shield's not very effective. He funneled my zerglings for a little bit, but the roaches are still getting their shots in. Uh, he's got enough roach or, uh, immortals to take out my roaches, but my spine crawlers are up. They're doing a lot of damage, and I'm rallying all my zerglings to him. You'll notice from my main hatchery and from down here, I'm sending them in. What I want them to do is just tank the hits while my spine crawlers can just try to feed away at these immortals. Immortals do very well against the buildings, but spine crawler crawlers do 30 damage to immortals as well. And the zerglings are just keeping uh, keep on funneling in, funneling in. The spine crawler gets some more hits, and he takes it out. Now, if I can just keep sending Zerglings, even though he has these three Immortals, I will be able to stop this attack. Uh, he probably should have tried to walk in and, you, you know, taken out my spawning pool or some probes, or, I mean, drones. But he doesn't. He decides to run away. I believe this was a mistake. I did not have that much larva because, because my queen was killed. And I didn't really have any more Zerglings coming. What would have saved me, however, is my Mutalisk coming out, but he could have done quite a bit of damage got about uh, eight nine links here and you can check out the army tab up here so four immortals and he has a colossus so this was a, a pivotal transition to mutas that colossus would have destroyed me but they are now just you know having free reign on these immortals I just want to take him out before he has plenty of time to do damage to my base but this colossus is now coming in and he's gonna do a lot of damage while my mutas struggle to take these guys out my queen is up I'm trying to get my drones out of there I don't care if he kills my buildings, as long as I'm able to maintain my economy and my spire, I should be fine. So I've got quite a bit of mutas now. I've got nine mutas, two up there, five down there, and I've got some flying up as well. But I am taking out all of his forces. Always a good sign when your enemy has to sacrifice units just to do as much damage as he can. So I'm looking pretty good right here with my expansion and with my tech variety. He did take down my hydrogen and my roach warden, but that's fine. I did. I destroyed his entire army. This observer is still just kind of hanging out there. You always want to get an overseer once you hit lair tech, just because they are such great scouts. Um, something died there. I think it was actually my over. My I did have a uh, overseer, but I am just running my mutalists around, scouting for any expansions. I don't want to. Uh, I'm the type of person who likes to counter. I I play a defensive game, and then when the time is right, I will retaliate. And so right now, I'm just scouting out his you know for any expansions and I'm just gonna nurse my advantage I couldn't have I probably could have sat up here and harassed his probe line you know maybe flew around a whole bunch and done some damage to some pylons and that sort of thing and uh, I am going to do that but as far as winning the game right now I'm not gonna risk it why would you risk you know having two bases having the army advantage when you could just build up an army and you know get the sure win that's just the kind of player I am I like to defend until the time is right, and that is exactly what I am trying to do right now. Uh, will it backfire? Uh, we will see. He still has this observer just hanging out, watching everything I do, and that is just a pain in the ass. I, I never noticed that in the entire game. I have one range attack upgrade for my hydralisks, which you'll notice I did rebuild, and so you can tell I'm going to switch my tech to hydras just because he has lots of stalkers and sentries, and hydras are very effective against immortals as well very cost effective. 12 mutalists just going around harassing. Gonna try to take out this pylon but stalkers uh, shoot them away. I'll give you a close up on the damage here. Uh, the upgrades on their damage is a little worse though. They used to get one damage to damage and to armor so they'd get two damage to armor uh, units bonus. Now they just get one damage bonus to everything. So a little bit worse in that regard but uh, still the upgrade I think the patch just still made them better just because uh, their their early game use is a lot more effective because of that extra two damage to those lighter units. I need some more drones on here. 
Right now I'm busy pumping out some more Hydra lists. I've got 7 Hydras, 12 Mutas, 35 Zerglings, and he actually has a very small army. I could have moved in at this point. I probably could just overwhelm him with my 35 Zerglings alone, believe it or not. But I choose to just stay back, build up my army once again. And the reason my army isn't much bigger than his, even though he does have his, or I do have my expansion, is just because my expansion doesn't really have that many drones on it. If you look at the income, well, he's mined out now, but before, if you looked at the income, it would probably be very similar, uh, except for the gas. Why does he not have much gas? It's strange. Normally, when you have two guys on a geyser, it's, there we go, it's around 200. But I'm continuing to pump out the Hydralis and the Zerglings, and my Mutas are just kind of hanging out here. I did spot that he was uh, getting this expansion, and I obviously want to assault him before he finishes that expansion and is able to mine from that. And he's actually making a move on me here. He's got five sentries, six stalkers, and two immortals. But look at the resources on our armies. I've got over about 2,000 more minerals and 500 more gas than him in resources on the army. A lot of that is because of the zerglings, obviously, and because his sentries are so gas heavy, they uh, cost more gas than minerals. But I am getting, I did get uh, a few more drones at my expansion, and I'm getting an infestation pit. I don't remember why I got the infestation pit. Uh, maybe because I was hoping to go broodlords. I'm not sure. I mean. I might go Broodlords this game, you never know. Upgrading to my hive here. And you can see here, I am not wanting to go this way to attack him because he will see my force coming and he'll be ready for it. So instead, I am actually, uh, you know, going the long way around and I'm going to attack him here bigger battle. Slowing it down to fast. I'm not going to slow it down to slower. I know you guys don't like that. I'll just slow it down to fast. Oops. Um, and let's check out the battle here. He did have some decent uh, barriers here. He's kind of separating my hydras again. I have to retell my hydras to attack. But my mutas and my hydras and my link force is just too overwhelming for him. He took out his small army very fast. And he, he goes down because of it. And he leaves the game. So there's just uh, commentary for you late at night, and I'll get you guys some more. Thanks for watching.